Hey everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to make a cobra head. Um, and this is what it looks like. Um, some people call it a mummy, some people call it like a little beetle. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, but either way, this is what it looks like. And you need this if you would make, oh sh crap, you need this if you would make a cobra head bracelet. Or just a cobra bracelet. Um, you need like one really, really long strand if you just want to make a head. Um, mine is like twice the length of my body. And then you need just like one little short strand of any color, doesn't matter, you're not going to see it. So if you have like leftover scraps, those are always good to use. Um, but the really, really long one is going to be the color you're going to see. And I'm using um, the tie-dye holographic just because I thought it would be pretty cool for the stitch because you will see the colors. Um, you just want to fold this long one in half. <sighs> and then... Um, there's two things you could do. You can fold this one in half, or you could just let it be normal. Um, but you want to tie it in a knot, um, like a granny overhand knot thingy-majigger. Um, just the, the, like, multicolored one that I'm using right here. The really long one. Um, you want to tie that in a knot. And hold on, because mine's twisted, and I want to fix that. Mm-hmm. Alright, and then I'm going to take this um, smaller purple one, not purple, wow, it's brown. I did that in one of my other videos, I kept saying yellow when I meant to say white. Um, and I'm just going to like, see how it's not tightened, I'm just going to stick that in there. Um, and not pull it all the way through, but just enough um, that I want. I mean, I want to fold this in half, so I'm just going to do that. Um, and I'm tightening this up, but it'll take a while. Now, you want to start working on the Cobra. Um, stitch using the really long strands. If you've never made cobra before, um, I'm shocked. Actually, that's a lie. Um, if you've never made cobra before, I do have a video on how to make it with hemp. Um, so if you've seen that and you've wondered, you know, what the cobra stitch was for Boondoggle, it's actually the exact same stitch. Um, but I'm just going to get this started so that I can kind of show you how to do this. Now there is one simple little trick you want to remember, um, for doing cobra. You want to make sure that you're always working from, um, like, whatever side the strand happens to be on, that's the side you want that strand to stay on. Um, it's not, you know, you never want to go on the other side. Um, I hope that made sense. I think it did. Um, if the one strand is always going to be behind the project, that strand will s need needs to stay behind the project, because if you um, turn it the other way, it's a completely different project, and I don't think that's what you would be intending to do. Unless you were. But in that case, it wouldn't even be this project. Okay. So I'm going to show you um, from, from reverse of what I'm doing. Um, you want to take the strand that is on the left. And you want to put that strand behind the project. So if you're looking at this, um, this strand is behind the project. And um, you have like this little tail here. You want to rest this tail over this other loose strand. Okay? Then... Picking up the loose strand so that if you picked it up, that tail would go with it. You want to just pick that up and then push it through the loop of that other strand. Alright, and then after you do that, you just pull it tight. Simple? Okay. Then you just want to keep doing that. Um, so, as long as you would like it to be your head, um, if you want to do like a two inch head, then do two inches worth of this cobra stitch. And then you'll be ready to do the head. Um, I don't really know how long I'm going to make mine. I'm just going to keep working a bit. But that's just what I heard. By the way, when you're at this point, um, I don't know, I'm going to do a little bit more. You want to keep these strands hanging. Don't ever cut them until you're done with the project. Pro until you're done with the project because you will need them, uh, later on. So I'm just going to keep working. And once it's summertime, I'm not going to have any fun stories to tell. Well, I'll have stories, but I don't know if I should tell them because you probably think different of me. And I'm going to the Backstreet Boys concert this weekend, and I'm so excited. I'm taking one of my best friends um, for her birthday, and we're going to the concert, and I'm excited. Um, I don't really know any new kids on the block, though. I only know Backstreet Boys, so... Should be rather interesting. Okay, so this is about enough. This is about uh, two inches here, and what you're going to do is you want to, like, flip the project upside down so that the strands are at the top. So see how, like, I'm holding, well, see how the strands are, like, here? 
Um, take the the best, the easiest way I can explain this is see how like this strand is pointing out that way, and then this strand here is pointing towards me. Take the one that's pointing out away from you, and you want to put that one underneath the project. Um, so like this, all right? And then you're just going to do the same type of thing. Um, you know, like this is well, the one that's pointing away from you is just going to be the strand that goes behind the project. Um, the one that's pointing towards you will just go in front of the project. So you're just going to do the same thing. Um, like, you're just going to do the cobra stitch, but just, that's going to tell you what, um, you know, like, which strand will go where. Um, so hold on, let me just do a second stitch of this so I can show you a little better. Okay. So if you can see, um, you know, it's starting, you can see how it's, like, a lot, bi a little bit bigger here. Um, but it's not directly to the tip there. That is okay, um, because at the end, you, you need that kind of there, um, to finish it. So just keep working on that, and then um, I will be back eventually to show you how to finish this. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or anything, please let me know. Uh, be back soon, guys. Bye.